Hey guys, I've been a little reluctant to do this video because I feel like I might end up sounding more negative than I mean to be because my thin edges kind of make me call to mind like all the negative comments that I've gotten about physical features. So I figured I'd just kind of put all of that in one video to just refer people back to whenever the issue comes up in the future. So when I started making YouTube videos, I just thought I'd be helping people to learn how to do their hair or just show them styles that I've done on my hair and maybe someone could recreate the look and um, just help people to see that they can really do their hair by themselves. And it seems like sometimes people get a lot of confidence in the comment section and think it's okay to be rude to other people. And so this whole video came up because uh, someone who's really sweet on here, she just asked me a question just to help her with her hair. My edges are thin and I have had thin edges since the beginning of my life. It's just genetics. I didn't do anything. I've never pulled on my hair really tight. I'm actually tender headed so I make the effort to not pull any kind of my hair just not just my edges like I don't want to pull anything on my hair because it hurts quite a few of the males in my family go bald like they decide to just do the Michael Jordan because in high school they start balding my receding hairline goes very far back like I have a widow's peak here and then here's my hair and then my receding hairline like it's like right here so there's no hair right here and that's not because I've done anything wrong to my hair it's just the way that my hair grows so um, as far as products people have suggested that I try products on my hair I've tried products on my hair in the past to help thicken up my edges and then I decided to go to cosmetology school and I realized that all these thickening things don't work because the number of follicles that you have is the number of follicles that you always have so there's really nothing I can do to thicken up my edges and so I've just grown to do styles that are a little more flattering to people with thinner edges so if you want any tips on what I do I don't do anything because they're just the edges that I have this kind of leads me into the obvious You see what's most prominent on my face? The five head. Like, okay, it's there. Okay? I was also born with a rather large forehead, and I love my forehead. I used to be really embarrassed by it when I was younger. I did, like, Chinese bangs because I was really embarrassed, and I wanted to cover up my forehead. With these rude people with no profile picture, they'll, like, just leave really rude comments just stating that I have a big forehead, and I'm kind of like... Okay, so what do you want me to do with that? Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Like, what was the point of the comment? Please have a point when you post a comment. So, I've just embraced my large four or five head, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so there's no point to let me know that I have a big forehead. Unless you want to try to remedy the situation. Which you can't. Um, another negative comment that I got one time was that my teeth are yellow. And this girl proceeded to, like, comment that my teeth were yellow. And then come in again saying that I needed to go to the dentist. And then when I finally replied to her. She inboxed me privately and was like, why are you getting so upset? That's something that I've also dealt with. My teeth have been a big issue to me too. They're what people see when you smile, when you talk. I tend to look at people's teeth and I assume that other people look at people's teeth too. My teeth are not white. I agree that they could be lighter than they are. But at the same time, I do do things to try to make my smile more appealing. I use like whitening toothpaste and when I was younger, I moved to California from Texas at a point when my teeth were still developing inside of the gums they hadn't fully developed yet and so what my dentists have told me is that 
when we were there there was a lot of fluoride in the water and it caused my teeth to be discolored so all throughout my life I did not like smiling even my dentist noticed like when she would tell me to open my mouth she could tell the way that I opened my mouth that I was self-conscious of my teeth. So I guess what she did was like solder off some of the layers of my teeth because the excessive amount of fluoride in the water in California and then mixing with the different types of water in Texas had an effect on my teeth and they caused them to be discolored. So my main like front teeth some of the teeth were kind of like a beigey color and then other parts of the teeth were kind of like ivory so it just left me really self-conscious of my teeth and she tried to get to a point where the color of my teeth were more similar. She kind of frowned upon me whitening them because she said that if I were to try to whiten my teeth the lighter parts would keep getting lighter and then the colors that were darker would get lighter but you could still see a difference in my teeth so I've never whitened my teeth and I've been kind of afraid to because I didn't want my teeth to still be discolored. I say all this to say that you never really know what people are going through or what they've been through in their life and being rude has no purpose. If we're being honest it really doesn't make you feel good about yourself when you make others feel hurt. So if you've dealt with pain because you've been bullied or talked about throughout your life I know from personal experience that being mean to others doesn't make you feel better. It actually makes you feel worse because now instead of just feeling hurt yourself, you've actually made others feel that same type of pain. <sighs> this just makes me feel really emotional because just think about like the world that I've brought my son into and you know everything can be fine and happy at home but I don't want my son to have to feel the same pain that I felt in my life and I just hate that I know you know once I send him out there in the world on his own that he will deal with rude people and it's just unnecessary so yeah I'm sorry <laughs> So I just want to close this video by just saying thank you to people who continue to be nice and just try to impart good feelings and well-being into others. Just trying to do things to make other people feel good. Eventually I know we'll get there, but I know it'll take a lot for us to get there too. So that's going to be all of like my sharing for the day. And I've had different insecurities that I've had to overcome with myself and it seems like I was fine with the way I looked until other people brought to my attention what makes me unique and I don't want to say what makes me different because we are all different I'm different from anyone you're different from anyone else so I have grown to love and appreciate all of these wonderful and unique qualities that Jehovah God created me with and I just wanted to share with y'all how I have overcome the negative thoughts of others. I just want to say thank y'all for watching my videos and I don't normally get too personal on my channel and it just kind of felt good to just let a little bit of myself out to y'all so thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.